I was looking at the FizzBuzz test recently, and I noticed something that I thought was rather interesting. Uh, now, for those of you who aren't familiar with FizzBuzz, it's supposed to be a test of your basic programming skills. And uh, here's, here's the description. It says, write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100, but for multiples of 3, print the word fizz instead of the number, and for multiples of 5, print the word buzz instead of the number. And if a number is a multiple of both 3 and 5, you're supposed to print fizz buzz. Well, that's pretty uh, pretty straightforward description. Um, and this is an interesting web page here because uh, people have presented all sorts of different solutions to this in a variety of, diff a variety of different programming languages. Um, the interesting thing, though, is as you scroll down the page, they all seem to follow the same basic pattern. Uh, there's a big for loop, uh, and then there's some modulo arithmetic inside the loop, and there's generally some kind of string concatenation going on to build up the, the output strings. Um, and you see this over and over and over again in different languages, different variations, um, and uh, that's interesting, isn't it? Why is everyone following the same basic pattern? And I think it's because people have seen other people come up with solutions to this, and they they sort of think, ah, oh, well, that's the that's the way I'm supposed to do it. Um, well, I was thinking about this, and I thought. Is there another way of structuring the solution to this problem? Is there another way that we can write this code that doesn't involve a big giant for loop? And um, so I sat down and thought about it a while, and I came up with quite a quite different solution uh, using all of the little tricks and bells and whistles that Python has to offer. So I'm going to show you the code and then kind of walk through it and show you how it works and, and what it does. So here's the code. And the first thing I do is I generate a truth table um, because the basic problem that we're trying to solve is we're trying to look at a series of numbers and determine whether or not they are evenly divisible by 3 or 5. So that seems like something that we would want to put into a truth table. And then once I do that, I define this little dictionary, and all, the whole purpose of this dictionary is so that I can map these truth table values into the corresponding strings that are supposed to be printed. And then finally, I have another uh, list comprehension that iterates through the truth table, <clears throat> iterates through the truth table, and passes the truth values through that uh, dictionary to extract out the messages that are supposed to be printed. And the result of this whole operation is a list that gets stored as results. And then finally, we have the results. We have the answer at this point. So the only thing left to do is a simple little for loop to print out the contents of that list. So let's run this. And I want to look at these various uh, steps in the process and show you what, what the results are and, and how this is all being, uh, being worked out. Okay, so the script runs, and this is the final output. This is the output of the print statement. Uh, and if you look at this, you'll see, yeah, this is the correct output. Um, let's look at some of those intermediate results. First of all, let's look at that truth table. Um, basically, it's a column with three, or it's a table with three columns. The first column is the uh, numbers from 1 to 15, and I'm only going to 15 because I don't want the output to scroll off the screen, but uh, you'll, you'll get the basic idea. So the first column is the numbers that we're checking, the second column is 
uh, indicating whether or not that number is a multiple of 3, and the third column indicates whether that number is a multiple of 5. And you can see that uh, the pattern repeats for 3. The pattern is false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, true. And for 5, the pattern is false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false, 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 true. And that's what you'd expect. All right. Um, what are some other things we can look at? Um, well, there's the message dictionary. That's not very interesting, but we can certainly look at it. Oops, message without S. There's the dictionary. So it's mapping those uh, truth values to the various words that we want to print. And lastly, we have the results list which is the results of our processing. This is the answer. And the result list is built up in kind of an interesting way using some, some little tricks that, that Python can do. Um, <clears throat> so we iterate through the truth table and we pull out the three values for each row i p and q and uh, p and q are common variable names when you're dealing with boolean values so we have the number and we have the truth value for is this a multiple of three and is this a multiple of five then we build a key out of the p and the q values and we use that key to look up the uh, appropriate entry in the dictionary. If P and Q are both false, we're going to get back an empty string. And in a logical context, an empty string evaluates to false. So we're either going to pick a string if there is one, or if we don't get back a string, if we get back an empty string, then we'll choose the value of i instead, and that's what gets inserted into the, the list which we're building as part of this comprehension. So I'm going to kind of cheat here and compress this code a little bit, kind of mess up the formatting, just to show you that we can get to the solution in five lines of code. Build the truth table, set up the dictionary for our output, build the results list, and then print out the results list. And if I really wanted to cheat, I could do it in four lines. I could do that, but that's ugly, and you really shouldn't do that. So there it is, fizzbuzz in four or maybe five lines of code.